Got another set of questions for the amount of substance topic. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try them first. Okay, so we'll make a start. So before I show you the diagram, obviously we need a container to contain the metal and the water so they can react together. And we also need a way of collecting the hydrogen gas. So I've gone for this apparatus here. So I'm using a conical flask to carry out the reaction in and I'm collecting the gas in a gas syringe. Just make sure that this is completely sealed so the gas can't escape out of the conical flask. It's got to go into the gas syringe. Moving on to the calculation now. So we were told in the question that the experiment was carried out at RTP, room temperature and pressure. So the moles of hydrogen produced volume over the molar gas volume in centimetres cubed, because that volume is in centimetres cubed, 4.04 times 10 to the minus 3. 1 to 1 ratio in the reaction, so we've got the same number of moles of metal M. So the MR of M mass over moles, 40.08, or you could put 40.1 there, and we're told it's in group 2, so it's obviously calcium. And the final part of the question, so the students repeated the experiment, they've used the same mass of a group 2 metal, but it's from further down the group. So if it's from further down the group, it's going to have a higher MR. They're using the same mass of metal, so you're going to have fewer moles, because when you do mass over MR, to get the moles, you divide by a bigger MR. So therefore, there's fewer moles of hydrogen made, which means the volume collected is going to be less. Moving on to the next question, so why is there a loss in mass during this reaction? Well, you can see one of the products is a gas, this CO2 is going to escape from the reaction vessel. Moving on to the calculation, so the first thing we're going to do is work out how many moles of nitric acid is being used. Concentration times volume, just make sure that your volume is in decimeters cubed, so 20 cm cubed is 0.02 decimeters cubed. Next thing we do is apply the ratio to find out the moles of strontium carbonate that's reacted. So it's going to be half as many. All we need to do now is turn the moles into grams. So we multiply by the MR of strontium carbonate, which is 147.6. Gives an answer of 1.85 grams. Percentage yield question now. So I always do these in terms of the moles. I compare the moles rather than the masses. So the first thing I'm going to do is work out how many moles of butantool has been reacted. So mass over MR gives that many moles of butantool. These dots here just mean I'm keeping the full number in the calculator. The expected moles of product, this 2-bromobutane, is going to be the same because we've got this 1 to 1 ratio in the reaction. Now we'll work out the actual moles of 2-bromobutane that's been formed. So mass over MR, we've got that many moles. So to get the percentage yield, we just divide the actual moles by the expected moles, multiply by 100, 67.4%. And the final question, so this is an ideal gas question. We've got the temperature, we've got the volume, and we've got enough information to calculate the moles of N2O. So we've got to calculate pressure, so the ideal gas equation rearranges to this, NRT over V. So the first thing we'll do is calculate the moles of N2O. So mass over MR, that's coming out at 4.25 moles. So we'll just sub the numbers into the rearranged ideal gas equation. So we've just got to be careful with our unit conversions here. So moles is 4.25, R is 8.314. Temperature needs to be in Kelvin, but they've given it in degrees C. So we add 273 onto the 20, 293. The volume has to be in meters cubed, but they've given it in decimeters cubed. So I just put a times 10 to the minus 3 after my dm cubed number, and that puts it into meters cubed. So there's the calculator value. Remember that the volume for the ideal gas equation is in pascals, so we're in the right units for the final answer. All we've got to do is put this in the standard form to three significant figures, which is 4.46 times 10 to the 6.